هل رأيت الغصن يذوي مرة ورأيت This is the story of Haritha رضي الله عنه Haritha رضي الله عنه and his mother أم Haritha He wanted to go out one time with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم also in one of the battles and remember my brothers and sisters the Muslims never fought a battle when they started it they only fought battles after the enemies had taken driven them out of their lands and massacred their children and raped their women. Haritha radiallahu anhu between the age of 20 and 25 he came with the Prophet sallallahu to go out into jihad for the first time and his mother had prepared him to follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then when they went out my dear brothers and sisters the Muslimin arrived to a certain place where there was a well a well and one of the battles where there was a well so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said to one of, the, one of the Sahaba to go and, and protect that well at night when the Muslims are asleep so that no one can come to that well and take it over from the enemies and then in the middle of the night when the Sahaba was protecting that well all of a sudden Hari woke up. He woke up to go to the well to drink because he was extremely thirsty when he was asleep. And then when he reached the cliff, he was about to go down into the well. This Sahaba, he looked up into the cliff and he thought it was one of the enemies coming to take over the well. And so he armed his arrow and targeted towards him. And then he speared him. And the arrow struck Haritha radiallahu anhu right in his chest. And then he fell to the ground. And then this Sahaba raced towards him in order to see who it was. And then, to his sadness and sorrow and to his shock, he found that it was Haritha radiallahu anhu. A Muslim had mistakenly killed another Muslim. And then as Haritha was dying, he said, La ilaha illallah. And his soul escaped from his body. The Muslims found out the, 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 uh, the story. And they went and they had their battle. And then they returned back to the Muslimin. And then Umm Haritha came along, his mother, searching for her son. When she saw all the soldiers returning back, she would look at that person and look at this person to see if it was Haritha. But every time she went from one companion to another, it was someone else. And then she grabbed one of the companions and she said to him, My son, my son, where is my son? Is he a shaheed? Is he a martyr? Was he killed in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And then the companions would say, Your son Haritha, no, he wasn't in the battle. He wasn't in the front lines. No, he wasn't killed. Shaheed, I don't think he is a shaheed. And she began to cry and scream. And she said, show me where the Prophet Wasallam is. And when she found him, she grabbed the Prophet, she came to the Prophet Wasallam and she said to him, Ya Rasulallah, Qulli tell me, my son Haritha, is he in Jannah? Is he in Jannah? Or is he not? Wallahi, if you tell me that he is not in Jannah, you will see what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this world upside down. This is what a mother feels, ya akhwan. Yes, a mother who understands Jannah and Paradise, she wants her son to reach the highest place. But of course, in a worthy cause. Ya Rasulullah, tell me. And if he is not in Paradise, you will see what I will do. Then the Prophet Sallallahu looked at her and he yelled and he said, Ya Ummu Haritha, Ahabilti, Ahabilti Ya Ummu Haritha. Have you gone mad Ya Ummu Haritha? Have you lost your mind? Inna Haritha qad mata shaheedan wa inna Haritha qad asab al-firdaws al-a'la. Inna ha jinan, inna ha jinan wa inna Haritha fil firdaws al-a'la. He said, are you crazy O Ummu Haritha? Haritha died, a martyr in Islam, and he is not only in Jannah, it is many Jannat, it is many paradises, and he has targeted the highest place in Al Firdaus Al A'la. No. Because he died with a sincere and proper intention.